Hi Fire Signs, Aries, the Sun, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love and Messages. In today's reading we're going to take a look and see what are your person's messages to you. So I want you to take a moment, pause the video, think about your person. Um, we want to see what messages they have for you, what they want to share with you, um, you know, what they want to communicate with you. Um, it is going to be a general reading, so guys, please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email is going to be listed below the video. feel like... Yeah, there it is. Okay, Three of Swords. Okay, so a bit of a disruptive energy here with the Three of Swords. Some of you are going through a stage in the connection that feels a little bit uncomfortable. It feels like you might be at a discord, disconnection, at a separation. Um, there may be some sort of conflict, tension. I mean, the Three of Swords is emotional heartbreak here. Yeah? Um, there may have also been a discovery of a third party situation. Okay, Some of you have recently found out that you have been entangled in a third party situation. So, your person here, I mean, they're thinking about you a lot, okay, so, if there's been no contact or no communication, don't interpret them that as, you know, this person having completely forgotten about you or completely forgotten about the situation. You guys are going through a tumultuous stage, a tumultuous period in the separation, and I feel like what you're going through is going to be the make or break of this connection. Um, your person is hurting, and I feel like they've they've said or done things that have hurt you and that have also hurt the relationship now they may have been involved in someone else with someone else during the duration of your connection with them they may have cheated on you they may have lied to you betrayed you deceived you they may have hurt you humiliated you disrespected you um, i feel like they're aware of what they've done but i'm also picking up that there is a pain in the energy that they carry Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the, um, you know, with the saying that hurt people hurt others the most. And I feel like a lot of what they've done here, they've projected some of their pain, some of their hurt and some of their insecurities that they feel within onto the relationship. So, you know, if they feel very insecure and they can't trust you, they've gone ahead and indulged in emotional or behavioral patterns that have then projected that <clears throat> those are insecurities that they felt but your person is hurting they want to communicate but they're struggling to find the words to say um, your person is also scared that once they do reach out and communicate here they're scared of how you might receive their message or whether you're going to reject them you know whether you're going to um, not want to hear from them again because they realize that they hurt you they're not sure that they can um they're not sure that the both of you can move on from this they want to but they're not sure i mean the ace of swords i feel like they've got something to tell you that they feel like they didn't get a chance to which might give you i don't know might give you a little bit more insight into what's happened here or into their personality um, they might open up. It's like they want to share something with you, maybe from their um, upbringing, okay, or from their previous or earlier uh, relationships. Your person does care about you. They still care, but unfortunately, they have hurt you. They've subjected you to a lot of hurt and a lot of pain. I feel like your person experienced a lot of pain um, growing up, and I feel like for them, it's a sense of normality. So they may have grew up in a very painful, uncomfortable, uh, and a very, you know, unstable emotional environment. They've may have had, had a lot of 
not even a lot of, but they may have had relationships that weren't very stable or secure or that resulted in heartbreak or divorce, separation. And that's something that they've never truly healed from. And they've brought some of the emotional baggage from their past into your relationship with this person. Okay, And the, some of the wounds that they've had from the past, they've never allowed to heal. Uh, your person does want to make a comeback here. It feels like your person wants to come back. You know, you've got the Knight of Swords energy and the Knight of Wands. Your person feels like they want to... There's a sense of urgency, isn't there? It's like they want to make things right. It's like they want to explain themselves. Or it's like they want to work through things, sort something out, clear their name. I don't know. It feels like there's, they urgently want to communicate with you. They're scared that... You know, they're scared that they might not get another chance or another opportunity with you. They're scared that you might move on and forget them and you might not give them the chance that they want. They want to move from this. They do. I did say that what you're going through is make or break. And I feel like maybe you've given your person an ultimatum. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. Or maybe, you know, you've said, that's it. Enough is enough. And that's really shaken them to the core. You've said it again, but not... But this time's different. You really meant it this time, didn't you? Wow. Um, a lot of tense energy. A lot of tense. A lot of um, conflict in the energies. Um, they're crying. Your person is crying. Your person is visibly upset. They're very emotional here as well. They care. And I feel like whatever has happened here, whatever has transpired, has made them realize just how much they love you or care about you. Sometimes it takes people growing apart to realize, you know, how much they want some, someone or something. So sometimes it takes that to make sense of a situation or your emotions. And I feel like, you know, that's the same can be said for this situation. I feel like there's been a lot of lessons to be learned from this. I feel like your person wants to communicate to you that, you know, they want to change or they've learnt they've learnt they have a lot that they take away from this they want to grow and they want to be a better person for you and for the situation I don't think like the energies are very tense I don't think it's a good idea for the both of you to come back and try to you know resolve anything in this energy state because your relationship is only going to it's only going to suffer the same fate, right? You're both quite tense or your person is quite, you know, they're feeling a lot of pressure, they're feeling a lot of stress and this isn't necessarily healthy for the relationship. I feel like they're, you know, this, this, they're also, they can be prone to anger, uh, tantrums or emotional outbursts and I feel like they need to sort of work through their emotions before they come back and communicate with you here. They do want to communicate a truth. They do want to communicate with intention. But I feel like it's the energy that I'm seeing them in. Like they're very defensive or they're very anxious. They're very, they're really worked up. They're very charged up. And in this kind of energy state, they may say things that they regret. They may say things that you misunderstand or misinterpret. It's just the energy state that I'm picking up. It doesn't really work well for a conversation in which you're trying to, you know, seek resolution. So I feel like they need to sort of process some of their emotions, especially if they do have like anger issues, if they're prone to temper tantrums or emotional outbursts. There's a lot that they want to say, and I feel like it's just driving them crazy. It's really, they're really working themselves up. But I think they need to feel all of that. They need to feel all of their, all of their emotions. They need to feel it to heal it. They need to understand because some of the things that they've said or done, it's coming from a place of hurt and they need to go back and they need to heal whatever that is, right? And that will also help heal this situation with you. I feel like they also want to leave this third party for you and they choose you. But I also feel like that's something that they've said to you in the past. So it's like, well... Do you really believe them? You know, are they telling the truth? Or is it just a broken record on repeat? I think there is some sort of conflicts that you guys need to work through. 
because if you don't you know there's some unaddressed emotional issues that I'm seeing for this relationship and for their you know for the individual energies as well okay guys and these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please share your support by liking um, sharing or subscribing to the channel bye